Jingle bells, 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 Christmas. You're welcome. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Get to the chopper! Say hello to my little friend! I'm gonna make him an offer again. This is my job! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Ho, 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 misfits, and a merry miscast Christmas to you. Welcome to the very first annual miscast Christmas special with your very merry host, JJ. Killing me isn't going to bring back your goddamn honey. And your other merry host, Greg Caffaro. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, 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 ho. Don't you call anybody a ho. Use a ho. And the merriest little elf on the shelf right here, William Davis Moore. On today's special holiday episode, we're going to tell you our individual top three favorite Christmas movies. And to start this thing right off, let it snow, JJ. Let it snow. Dude, I'm going to tell you, this movie... Okay, when I saw this in the early 70s, okay, this movie came out in 1959. Oh, damn, we're going back. Yes. Way back. The name of this movie is called Santa Claus. (laughs) And it's about uh, Santa Claus. Oh, no shit. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's about Santa Claus doing his Christmas shit, but... Uh, what's really cool about the movie is that it has like Merlin is also in the movie what? That's and he, awesome. he helps Santa like Santa has this like this really weird like crystal castle where he has like all these like machines and th- th- he has this one machine that looks like a giant like robotic fleshlight. <laughs> and and Merlin is in there and Merlin is like this old senile old man that can barely speak and barely oh, walk doing Merlin dirty. and also uh, Satan's in the movie. And Satan is out there, like, trying to get kids to do bad shit so they get on the naughty list. And Santa it was, like, trying to, like, stop Satan from doing all this shit. But, you know, one of the things that, that bothers me about this movie that, I mean, don't you think that Santa should be impartial? Like, he reads the naughty list. He reads the list. So if you're, if you're naughty, you don't get a gift. And if you're good, you get a, li- a gift. Like, he, ha- he should have no involvement on in whether or not you are naughty. Right, he should be impartial. Yeah, he shouldn't be swaying you one way or the other, right? Yeah, Is that so what you're yeah, so I always found it odd that he was trying to thwart Satan from from making kids naughty. Because oh. to me, if the whole world was naughty, then fuck it, my job is done. I don't have to. I could just chill out in the tricks some eggnog. <laughs> yeah, with, with with my wife in the North Pole. Yeah, and and the elves would just be just kind of hanging out. You know, what would the elves do though? They wouldn't do shit. Did. They would just be hanging out and chilling <laughs> on the cold if, if everybody was naughty. It, 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 when you're at work and the boss comes in and says, hey, guess what? We have nothing left to do. You guys can go home. Yeah. Isn't that like the best thing ever? Super. Yeah, but awesome. if your Merry job Christmas. is only for one damn month a freaking year. But like, dude, it's a pain in the ass. Knows? <laughs> that, I mean, that's perception. That's the outside perception. Yeah. I mean, yeah. inside, these guys are working year round probably. It's cold as shit. You know how hard it is to like get your car running or whatever, like in the snow? It's, I mean, you got to get the ice thing out. You got to scrape your No, windshield. screw that. Fuck. So anyways, um, that, that was one of my, it's, su- it's a super creepy movie. And, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's from 1959. The movie's called Santa Claus. Uh, go watch it or not. That sounds awesome. I want to see. <laughs> anytime you got Santa Claus working with Satan and... Uh, Merlin. And Merlin. No, Greg, what's your favorite first? Okay, so, you know, like JJ, apparently, I don't want to go with the movies that you're going to see on TV ad nauseum throughout the holiday season. So I wanted to go with... Um, my first pick is going to be Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. What is this? It's from Finland. Uh, it's I don't know, it's a mix of English and Finnish, you know, in the movie. But basically, you're finished. No, I'm not. You're gonna keep going. I, I am gonna keep <laughs> going. After you're finished, much, much to your chagrin, I'm gonna give you a present. I'm gonna continue. 
Oh, okay. all right. So it's Christmas, <laughs> so you're allowed, Greg. So uh, <laughs> it's from Finland. It's directed by uh, uh, I'm going to butcher these names. Jamari Hellander. Yamari Hellander. I don't know how you say that. It's based on a, a little 2003 short called Rec- Rare Exports Inc. And uh, there's also another short uh, from 2005 called Rare Exports: The Official Safety Instructions. And uh, basically, what it is is these guys. Um, well, there's a mining company mining on a mountain in Finland, and then they accidentally uncover the burial of the real Satan. Santa Claus. Okay? Oh, and the Santa Claus, it's not like the legends that we know. It's more like a Krampus kind of story. So they let loose the uh, Santa and all his little helpers, like these elves, and they all little helpers. They look like... Critters. Oh, they look like Santa Claus, but very skinny and frail and decrepit, you know? So they capture one Kinda of them. Kind like somebody I know. <laughs> um, I got an excuse, so you know. Um, so they capture the they capture the Single elf, bells, thinking that it's the real Santa Claus, and they found out they find out later that's an elf. You know, the elves are attacking these guys. They 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 go to the uh, mining company to get some money because the mining company has killed their local reindeer slaughtering business or whatever. Fuckers. And then they find out, oh, it's the real Santa Claus. This giant. Thing encased in ice, big horn sticking out, and they have to destroy it and all this kind of stuff. It's a great little dark comedy horror. I highly, highly recommend Rare Exports at Christmas. Do the elves come up through the toilet with like a row of like nothing but shark teeth? And, like, no, I don't know your where balls. you're getting that from, but no. <laughs> um, I want to say though that it, it stars a father and son combo. Um, let me see if I can pronounce That's these hot. names. Yorma Tamila. It's plays the Jorma, father, man. Jorma Tamila, Jorma. and um, his son Ani Tamila uh, also starred in this movie called Big Game with Samuel L. Jackson. Met oh, him. is that the one where he has my name? Is that? Oh, I didn't. Re- I never picked up on that. Too, Sam honestly. Jackson in one movie is President William Moore. Yeah, wow. but the story with that, that one is there. Sam Jackson's the president. He gets uh, his Air Force Ones is taken out by some terrorists in Finland, and the little kid finds him and has to like guide him to safety. These terrorists are on my motherfucking plane. That's it. And no. my motherfucking name is William Moore, yo. There you go. So that's another one I highly recommend, too. Are you Not done recommending? I am. All right. What do you got, God William? damn it. What do you got? So I like to go deep, deep into the recesses of the childhood brain. Ouch. With Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, my. That beautiful, wonderful nose. Huh? Rudolph, with your nose so bright. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Oh, my God. I know it's not an actual movie, but it is a TV special, and that, to me, is a movie. Don't give out any spoilers, okay? Never seen it before. So there's this little tiny reindeer, and he's got a jacked-up nose. But that shit glows, yo. What? (laughs) Cocaine? What? Did he do a lot of cocaine? (laughs) Well, since he's surrounded by white, I think they live on cocaine. (laughs) That's how the sleigh runs, man. Hans, <laughs> Bubby. <laughs> There's nothing better than the abominable snowman with no teeth because, you know, the elf that leads old Rudolph on his little adventure wants to be a dentist. And what the fuck? Why wouldn't you want to be a dentist if you're an elf? Uh, <laughs> so I grew up I, uh, loving the animation. that The stop motion animation from that company is fabulous, man. And it's something that has lasted the ages. I mean, that thing came out in 1964, and it's still something that kids like go nuts over. Mm-hmm. It just has this timeless aspect. Um so with that said, that's my first pick. Pretty, Pretty good, good one. Yeah. We got some. We got some good picks hey, so man, far. Hey, Bumble's so bounce. Yeah, dude. Right. This, this is a good first round. I don't know how we're gonna top it, but I don't know. I think it's all downhill from here. We can try. Um, <laughs> what do you got next? What's my that? next recommendation is a movie from 1996. Ooh, recent. Which I'm gonna say a brilliant year in in American cinema. This movie is called Santa with Muscles. Hulk Hogan is Santa with an attitude. Keep the milk and cookies warm. He's Santa with muscles. They can't start Christmas without me. Can they? There have been many Santas. You're not Santa. Well, all you had to do was knock. Santa with muscles. Yes. <laughs> Starting Hulk Hogan. Yes. Yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, this movie is great. It stars Hulk Hogan. He, he, he's a character named Blake. He's like a self-made millionaire. He sells like uh, exercise products and stuff. And one day he's out fucking around with like paintballs. He gets uh, in trouble with the police. So like any, you know, uh, middle-aged 
uh, white man. He knows the, the trouble he's going <laughs> to have with the police. So he hides in it's a true. mall. True. And uh, the first thing he finds is a Santa outfit. He puts it on, pretends to be, you know, like the, the mall Santa for a little bit. But then he accidentally falls into a garbage chute and hits his noggin. And then he has amnesia. Holy shit. So all these kids in this orphanage think that he's like the real Santa. And he's like, oh, fuck, I have amnesia, so I must be the real Santa. But underneath the orphanage, there's this like surplus of magic crystals. Oh, and there's, what stuff. There's this evil millionaire who wants to like fuck up the orphanage and like take all the magic crystals. Fuck those orphans. But uh, Santa with muscles, you know, he uh, he makes uh, he makes it right at, by the end of the movie. Santa I, with 24 inch pythons. I need to know how you've discovered this movie. Santa with muscles came out in 1996. It was in the theater. You discovered it, bro. It was in the theater. Said that already. It was in the theater for two weeks. Oh, it, it oh, actually so it had, had a, a theatrical run. Yeah, it, I mean, it was it was reviewed poorly. I think on IMDb it has like a two point no, four. No, no, really. Like, out of like sixty seven. Wow, or something. that's surprising. It's, it's bad. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Check it out, but kids. it's it's a fun movie. All right, so I'm gonna go way back, and I'm gonna go to to, to 1934 wow. with March of the Wooden Sol Soldiers. This is a classic March of the Wooden Soldiers. March of the Wooden Soldiers, <laughs> just for you, <laughs> you wood lover. You, you had to bring William, up a it's whole not soldiers with wood. He brought it's up a whole soldiers. army of wood, <laughs> just for you, man. Because I knew you would love it. <laughs> so, go, I've never go, seen him happier. To go be suck on a candy cane, William. <laughs> My God, I forgot so, the candy canes. <laughs> God damn it. So this is March. <laughs> Restart the, the show. All right. So 1934, March of the Wooden Soldiers, aka Babes in Toyland, stars All right. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. And this is a classic from when I was a kid. I, was, I remember watching this all the time. Every year, my parents would put it on and loving it. Um, I was a big Ollie, uh, uh, Laurel and Hardy fan when I was a kid, you know? And so basically, what this is, it's the classic Babes in Toyland uh, story incorporated with a bunch of uh, nursery rhymes. So Laurel and Hardy, they live in a boot with Bo Peep and all this kind of stuff, and they have to fight the evil Barnabas, you know, blah, 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 blah. So they have these giant wooden soldiers that fight off these boogeymen that are unleashed by Barnabas, by the evil Barnabas, <laughs> because Bo Peep won't marry him and all this kind of Fuck. stuff. Bo so Peep, it's man. great. It's a great, fun little classic. It's kind of uh, rapey. Uh, oh, a lot of those old no. stories are rapey. Yeah. Actually, just gonna throw that out there. Uh, yeah, gonna, you're not gonna marry me, so I'm gonna like unleash hell. Pretty well. Okay, if you want to call that rapey, go for it. Um, it's rapey. So okay, um, but yeah, I love this story. Uh, it, uh, this movie. You like rapey stories? Wow, <laughs> this has gone off the rails for his elves Christmas coming episode. out of the toilet with sharp teeth, biting Boy. your balls. <laughs> Is this what you guys this wanted is... to find under your Christmas tree? Merry guys. Christmas, misfits. You wouldn't have it any For other way. For all you YouTubers out there, this is how you get a million subscribers. <laughs> That's my recommendation. <laughs> all right, pretty good. <laughs> all right. All you right, guys, guys ruin that. <laughs> it's our job to fuck with everybody on this panel. There's so much cutting going to happen in this yes. episode. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> all right, guys. My second This is going to be a five-minute episode when we're I done. Mean, you know really, that. you know? That whole Babes and Toyland thing gone. Yes. My s all your shit's going to be gone. <laughs> You're the only serious one on the goddamn panel. How is that? What? 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 William, what's your goddamn next movie, motherfucker? My second really. movie. Get on with it, dude. My second movie is Edward Scissorhands. From Tim Burton comes the most incredible tale. Edward Scissorhands. Hold me. I can't. Ooh. Yes, not many no people know that, that is a Christmas movie. Came out December 6th, 1990. Oh. And the final scene happened on Christmas. One of the best scenes in that movie, ladies and gentlemen, is when he does the ice sculpture at the end with his then girlfriend, <coughs> Nona Ryder, Ooh. who also was one of my teenage crushes, by the way. 
But that scene where they're doing the whole ice sculpture thing is one of the most magical scenes of all time. Yeah. And the music from Danny Elfman in that movie is epic. Not only that, but they use that music in almost every Christmas freaking yeah. shit that you've yeah. ever seen, and you don't even realize it. <laughs> yep. it that movie is just a, abound with amazing, lovable, really good lessons about love, family, and existence. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, he just said I was the most serious one, and then after that, I was hilarious. Fucking a man, I am rolling with laughter. <laughs> after that. This is, this I mean, now we know why the suicide rate is so high around Christmas. And there was Vincent Price. Shut the fuck up. JJ? Yes, my next movie. No, I will not. <laughs> I, want, I want to talk about something that's kind of uh, been an epidemic, I think, around Christmas. Please, share. Fucking die hard. yippee ki Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and no, no, no offense, no offense to you. At all. Nakatomi. But uh, Die Hard has become like the movie where like people who think they're fucking cool and say, oh, you know, my favorite Christmas movie is fucking Die Hard because, you know, I'm fucking yeah, cool. Man, what are you saying, bro? We get it. Okay. <laughs> we get it. You're fucking cool. You like Die Hard. You ruined as my a next Christmas. Pick. It's Christmas. Christmas music. Okay, fine, we get it. Okay, the, can, can the world move on? They just made it an actual Christmas movie this year, though. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 jumped the shark. It's it's no it's transcended cool and become not cool now. I'm gonna give you a new one. Okay. Yes. Okay. A Christmas movie called Maniac Cop Two. You have the right to remain silent. He's still alive. You can't kill the dead. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. This movie is the anti Die Hard because it's about a fucked up monster cop who goes on a rampage, fucking killing everybody in sight. Yes. Okay. And it even stars that dude from uh, The Evil Dead. What's his name? Bruce Campbell. Ash. Oh, freaking Bruce Campbell's in? Ashy Slashy. Yeah, he was in the first one. Awesome. And he returns for the second one. That's so cool. That's it, actually. Good right. one. Next. That was excellent. That was it. That's all I got. That was Maniac Cop 2. What makes it so Christmassy, though? <laughs> Get your it asses takes, out there. And it takes watch place it. during Christmas. Okay. <laughs> There's no Maniac Santas. No, and it's a cop killing people, and I just wanted to say fuck you to people who like Die Hard. What? For Christmas. <laughs> that what? was a good one. What? Greg, are we going to get your dissertation now? Listen. Your bland, long I'm dissertation. Not, I, I, listen. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> your thing? What? Are you stealing my act? <laughs> what? I'm, on, I'm the only one allowed to make fun of Greg. No, hey, you're not. Man. That's our special thing that it's we have. It's Christmas. That's Share how the we magic. bond. It's Christmas. Share the magic, man. Share the magic. Wow, what the fuck, man? <laughs> this is not what I want for Christmas. <laughs> Greg. This is not what I want for Christmas. <laughs> Right. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> fuck you and your diehard hatred. I know. You know? You got you to gotta be more animated about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking that about? Was, that was sincere. I know you're pissed. That was like, a sincere show fuck Show JJ you. how pissed you are that he's... Listen. Look at your shirt, bro. He doesn't Yo, need you to tell him how to be pissed. To, I don't need you to say me shit. Tell, you you're getting more pissed at me than you are. <laughs> yeah, because you're not allowed to say shit after yeah. your last review. Yeah. That Edward Sears has bullshit. Yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Come on, man. It was heartfelt, man. This is a real fucking Christmas show. I'm glad we fucking did this. This is how we're, families We're getting work, a lot of shit bitches. out Merry on the Christ table. Merry, <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. fucking Christmas. Ah. Don't fuck with Santa, man. He's bugging <laughs> He's out saying, already. He's all cracked out. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. All right, now. All right, so my Oh, my God. You fucked with the elf on the shelf. The what elf on the he? fucking shelf just died. He's fucking dead. You killed the elf He's on the dead. shelf. Good. That God shit needs to die anyway. It, man, you broke his head. Oh that elf on the shelf needs to die. You broke anyway. his head. Look at this. Oh, no. Are you happy? No. Yes, I am happy. Uh, I am very happy. <laughs> this show uh, fuck is. That. Uh, uh, fuck that. What's okay, going on? Listen. All right. So now. I'm going to talk about 
another Christmas classic that I know you all love and there have been a million iterations of. And that's A Christmas Carol. <laughs> But this one is from 1951, and it's the one I remember watching when I was a little kid all the time. And it stars Alastair Sim as Ebenezer Scrooge. It's considered one of the better renditions or better versions of... It actually is a very amazing movie. It is. It's awesome. In Great Britain, it was known as Scrooge. In the U.S., it was called A Christmas Carol because we're very unoriginal here. Mm -hmm. But this is a great one. You know, there's been a million of them. This is a good one. There's, you know, been a Muppet Christmas Carol... There's oh, been a uh, 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 Disney I one. I can't get that taste the, out of my mouth. The Mickey's Christmas Carol, yeah, which Mickey is one, another yeah. one that I love when I was a kid growing up. Mm -hmm. um, just because, mainly because of that goofy skiing short before it. It's free on YouTube. You can go watch it on YouTube right now. Nice. The other two I mentioned are free on Amazon Prime, or with Amazon Prime, I should say. You know what's also free on YouTube? What? MissCastEntertainment.com. Boom! What? Watch us. Watch <laughs> wow. Yeah. Shameless plug. But yeah, we got to do it. Ring the bell. Um, but that's the Christmas Carol. If you're going to watch one, that's the one you should watch. All right, William, what are you going to bore us with next? Let, <laughs> Damn. let me. You get one of these, bro. <laughs> let me close out this most amazing Christmas episode. And it on a low note. With the best Christmas movie of all motherfucking time. Beep. Hit us. And that is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, fuck you. It was not long ago. Think back if you dare about Tim Burton's tale of a Christmas nightmare. Walt Disney Pictures invites you to see The Nightmare Before Christmas in Disney Digital 3D. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Now, boo. The best Christmas movie of all time. Boo. Who doesn't want to see what Satan of Tim Burton's mind does when he discovers that there's a Santa Claus? He takes it over and fucking makes it awesome. What's on every goth kid's <laughs> lunchbox? That. Jack Skellington. What's inside every goth kid's lunchbox? Jack Skellington's apple? Sadness. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Comment below, all of you miscast miscreants. Are you goths? How, you, how much you like a Nightmare Before Christmas. Nobody likes that movie anymore. Everybody loves that movie. No. 1993's best animation of all time. Listen, like I wanted to walk out of this movie when I saw it. I hope you know that. Dude, I apologize to all of you guys out there because these guys are fucking insane. I apologize for us all. Merry Christmas. We've been, you know, we've been insane since the first episode. I know. <laughs> this, you know, that wasn't a really good insult then. <laughs> this episode only drove us more insane. Or drove me more insane. This is crazy. Look, I, I, I love that episode. movie when it first came out. Actually, oh, I, I was all it. about it. But now it's just been. It, there's so much merchandise. It's been yes. shoved down people's throats so right. much. It's all over this the place. True. I'm sick of that fucking movie at this point. Every single other Christmas when the kids are away, because uh, my sister takes her kids to the other grandma's house oh, uh, sorry. we have an adult sorry, christmas grandma. i play santa for the kids the brown santa and then for the adults i play that's Jack not true Skellington. that's impossible you're more of a caramel santa <laughs> am i a caramel yeah yeah sorry i don't want to like i haven't been in the sun very often your this year skin color or anything but <laughs> you're like a very like a hazelnut santa <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. I love you. Hey, Merry hey. Christmas. Oh, guys. I see how it is. I see how Merry it is. Christmas. Yeah, okay. Hey, let me, okay. Let me, let me bring it in. Oh, let me bring oh, it in. Come, oh, come on, come oh, on. Center camera, bring it in. guys. Oh, your ribs, bro. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Your nipples are hard. Holy shit, man. Keep that shit in your was face. It, was it when I mentioned Die Hard? Uh, no, it was <laughs> when you started coming over and hugging me. Oh, okay. That's what does it. Ah, shit. You said come over. Woo! Well, boys and girls, that's going to do it for this very special holiday episode. And as always, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like hitting buttons, then ring that bell right next to it so you get notified of all future content. And while you're at it, head on over to MissCastEntertainment.com where we have lots of cool articles all the time. In fact, we have a really cool article up right now, and I'll let JJ tell you all about it. Check out the first ever MissCast Entertainment 2018 Christmas Shopping Guide. Okay, if, if you need a present for somebody and you still don't know what to get them, there's a couple weeks left, 
we created an awesome list of quick shit you can just get on, on Amazon. It'll be delivered on time. Watch it. Go to our website. Read that shit. Pick something, and you're good to go. All right, guys. To all you 140 subscribers out there, hey, man, we love you guys. We love your support. We love everything about you. Keep it coming. Tell your friends. Uh, you know, hey, have a happy holiday. Have a Merry Miscast Christmas. Have a happy Hanukkah. Have a jolly Kwanzaa and whatever other cool religion that you are. And until the next time, peace. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 what's whoa. going on? Wait, wait, God cool, damn it. Oh God. I flew across the fuck? country because somebody in this the table said something bad about Die Hard. Was it you? Was it? What oh, the fuck? fuck? The fucking beer is what spilling. The fuck? beer. Yeah, like, yeah it was look, me. What's look, your problem look, about first, it? First off, first off. Look, 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 Holy what the shit. fuck? Look, I'm destroying this show because first off, Die Hard is the greatest. Which camera is mine? This one? This one? That one. That one? Die Hard is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. <laughs> Al Powell's the only jolly fat man you need to worship. Okay? You want white driven snow? Check out Ellis's beard. And by the way, this elf you threw at me, it's brain is showing. Oh my god! It's dead! No! Whose fault is that? You that, did that! The guy who hates Die Hard or me? <laughs> the guy who put his brain back together, okay? If you hate Die Hard, you're not American. You're not even Christian! Merry Christmas! Ho ho ho! ho Merry fucking, fucking Christmas! He shot. Peace. He shot Hans Gruber with a gun tied to his back that sent season's greetings. It's a Christmas movie.